Over the next four years, Marlboro will be receiving $1.8 million to help students further develop career skills and earn college credit. We applied for the Department of Labor's Youth Career Connect grant. And pretty much what the Department of Labor is looking to accomplish is to help K-12 programs make a connection with industry partners in their sectors, getting kids involved in job market needs so that the kids start to develop specific skills while they're in high school and then link that up with a higher education institution so that those courses can hopefully start to be recognized for college credit. Students will see some changes when it comes to the availability of some new technology and curriculum. It's going to change a lot of things we do in terms of enhancements to what's already currently in place. So when we talk about adopting a computer science pathway, which we started to build a couple of years back, with this grant we can now look to enhance the student experience through things like for example, the development of a uh, computer lab Mac-based so that students can actually have a mobile app development course available to them where they would go in and they would learn some of the more job-specific uh, pieces of the puzzle with computer science when it comes to things like mobile app development. This grant will help further educate students in fields that are continuously growing nationwide. The focus of this grant is to propel students in the industry sectors of engineering and advanced manufacturing, computer science and information technology, and also the health sciences. So it's a very broad spectrum, but it is specific to helping students access pathways in those particular sectors of industry. Marlboro High School worked hard to get this grant and will partner up with local businesses and schools to make sure this grant is used to its fullest. Well, this award was, was proposed in collaboration with Jobs for the Future as the umbrella group for Massachusetts and also Brockton Public Schools and West Springfield Public Schools. Here in the Marlboro area, we're working directly with Partnerships for a Skilled Workforce, which is our workforce investment board locally, and they're going to help us sort of bridge the communication between schools and industry. We also have partnership with Raytheon, Parametric Technology Corporation, Marlboro Hospital for the industry side, and Boston Scientific has recently jumped on board. In addition to that, on the higher education side, we're also working with Framingham State University and Quinn Sigamon Community College. And we anticipate that more partners are going to be coming to the table in, in the very near future.